What is going on, Phantom Army? It is your boy, Phantom Stilts, and welcome back once again to a brand new gameplay series. I know we've been off this channel for a very, very long time because there hasn't really been anything to play that I've been really excited about, but as you guys know, I am a huge, huge supporter of Remedy Entertainment and everything that Sam Lake does, and now we have in our hands Control. It's a brand new game from Remedy Games. I am so excited to play this. If you guys have played Alan Wake, you know how much I love that game. If you saw me play Quantum Break on the channel, you know how much I love that game. This game has a lot of comparisons to Quantum Break from what I've heard from reviews and everything I've heard about this game. It's very much like Quantum Break with a little bit of a twist. So I'm really excited to share this game with you guys and go through a full walkthrough with you for Control. Hope you guys are psyched. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Without any further ado, let's start Control, guys. Here we go. Enjoy. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Anyone so here we go guys welcome to control like i said this is the brand new experience from remedy games i have a huge huge appreciation for everything that remedy games does so we're gonna try this game like i said it has a lot of uh similarities to a game called quantum break that is a little bit older um it was the sequel no not sequel it was the second installment game uh, sort of like Alan Wake, but it was also involving time powers. So I believe this game is similar to that. It's going to be a little bit different just because it's a new experience, but I am so excited to share this game with you guys. Let's go ahead and, uh, delve into it here. Let's see. We got an X button that we can interact with here. Correspondence prohibited items reminder. So that's probably just a collectible. So let's see if we can explore a little bit here. What do we got here? A security office. Nothing of interest in here, it looks like. So let's go back outside. Look up the stairs. So we absolutely have no idea what we're doing here. I'm assuming this is Jesse, and we've just sort of been, like, thrown into this Federal Bureau of Control from the beginning. So that was actually a really, really cool intro. I was expecting it to be uh, a little bit longer, but it wasn't bad. Federal Bureau of Control. So this is Jesse, okay. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. 
Okay, so I'm assuming we gotta go to an office or talk to somebody. Let's see if we can explore a little bit here. Because we were just sort of thrown in here. We don't exactly know what we're supposed to do or where we're supposed Hello? to go. Oh, there's a janitor. Hey, What's up, bro? Me? There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, either you are no relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you heart. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off. <laughs> Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. See deeper into the bureau. Welcome to the oldest house. Okay. Think about it. No face. We got somebody coming out the elevator, or do we go up the elevator? Let's see here. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. All right, so we gotta proceed deeper into the bureau. I'm loving the graphics too. The game looks absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, kinda interested to see how they, there's not too many games other than Tomb Raider that I can think of that have a female protagonist, so I'm actually really excited to see where they take Jesse in this game. Clearance level one, so I'm assuming we can't go in there yet. I wonder if there's going to be like a clearance level system that we have to go through in this game. Hey, we got another collectible over here. Do not disturb. Respond. Oh, what the hell? That sounded like a gunshot. You know, at the beginning. Uh, there was a gun going to somebody's head. I'm assuming that was the director. Let me see what's going on in this office here. Shit. Oh yeah, you bet your ass. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, that's not good. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Investigate the noise in the director's office. I mean, like, we have to pick up the weapon? Are we gonna get framed for this, dude? What's gonna happen? Oh shit! And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am 
Why? So we have to follow the board's instructions to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Sounds interesting. Okay, follow the board's instructions. Okay, we already read that, so... Huh. So that's how we, like... Okay. How do we jump here? Oh, A button. That's pretty... That, that's pretty standard. Okay. Uh, climb? Oh, moving towards ledges to climb. Okay. Nice. Uh-oh. Got an enemy! Bow! The same gun. Oh shit, so we got a weapon. Fire service weapon. Okay, so that's how we zoom in. L trigger, and then right right trigger is obviously how we shoot. Oh, we gotta aim here. Hold L to aim. Okay. Oh, it reloads by itself. The service weapon regenerates ammo automatically when not in use. Okay. So we don't have to worry about reloading. That's kind of cool. Alright. So, continue on here. Come on, Jess. Get out of here. Boom. Nice. Okay, we got more enemies to deal with. Whoa, we got one shooting at us. Where is he? Where are you at? Oh, over here. Nice. Oh, we got more shooting at us. Oh, snap. Sprint! Sprint, girl! Sprint! Ow! Nice. Got any more? Or are we good? What's this? Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. All right, so we got to proceed further. You're there. Is it safe to go? We gotta proceed further into the bureau. So we got a gun now. Got some melee attacks. This game is very ominous, dude. I'm liking it so. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Woo! Nice. So we got full health, so the health elements we must not be able to pick up if uh, if we're at full health. I wonder if we can like go back and grab them. Be interesting. Okay. 
Ogle Map, Executive Affairs. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Oh, we got people floating and shit. Oh, snap. Come on, reload. Nice. Oh, snap. Whoa. Oh, get over this way. Come on, Jesse. There we go. We got one there. There's one more left, it looks like. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. I don't think we lost any health. Oh, my God. Recharge. Enemies drop health elements with damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if we don't lose any health, we must not be able to pick up the health elements, which is cool. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see. Where do we go from here? Over here, maybe? A bomb shelter or something. Why are there people floating? I'm sure we'll figure that out, but I'm kind of curious. Okay, did we even need to come in here? Maybe we did. Do we have to... What's going on with this guy? Why are you floating, sir? Central executive. Yes. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right. It's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Why are there people floating, dude? What is happening? <laughs> All right. So let's go down into here. Maybe. Uh, can we jump down? Oh, we got enemies. Come on, recharge. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Ranger class second what? Oh god. Oh boy. Okay, we can run through him. We don't have to pick him up. Okay, cool. Ranger second class Pulaski. Got him. Oh my god. Recharge. Recharge, woman. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Took him out. Hey, I need all the health I can get right now. Got all the health elements we can pick up. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Cleanse the control point. Speak with the voice in the safe room intercom. Okay, uh, so what is this exactly? Fast travel outfits. Okay, so we can fast travel throughout the bureau, it looks like. Looks like there's uh, fast travel points. Where is the intercom? Where is the intercom? Oh, over here. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. 
The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Uh. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. All right, guys, so we have to cleanse the Hiss Corrupted Agent. So, which agent are we talking about here? Hiss Corrupted Agent. This guy? Oh, this girl, excuse me? Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, oh, I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown ordinary 17 years ago the bureau came in and covered the whole thing up i've been looking for this place for a long time that's enough maybe that's too much already 
I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. <laughs>